Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the grand opening of Asheville. Asheville is the newest century community uh, home here in the southwest of Las Vegas. We're going to tour this model, which is the 1859. Now, I can't give you a good shot from the outside right here, but uh, what we have right here is a three bedroom home. It could be a four bedroom if you get rid of the loft. Um, 1,859 square feet. We're looking at a starting price of about 400,000. They still don't know exactly how much it is, but this community is the newest one here in the Southwest. We only have, however, 30 home sites. Now out of the 30, I would say most of them, uh, 10 of them probably are gonna be sold within the next uh, week or two. In fact, we did get, uh, we managed to get a few clients in here to get the first lots available. And, uh, if you guys are interested in this home or any other home and you want to get onto the community, that's why you have to reach out to a realtor that is in the business here and knows everything about this community. We're going to go inside. We're going to check it out. We have eight foot doors at the entrance, nine foot ceilings on the first floor. And let's see. Oh, wow. One thing that I don't like about this plan is the fact that it has this uh, bathroom downstairs as soon as you walk in. What we're going to do is we're going to go upstairs really quick. We're gonna go upstairs really quick because there's people downstairs. Um, and I'm gonna show you the upstairs first. Although I don't do this often, you know, I just need to do it this time because I don't wanna get people in the videos. And then here we go. So, we've got, hi. All right, let's see. Let me start from the master, why not? So master bedroom right here, as soon as you get up, we've got, a beautiful size master this is about 15 feet maybe 14 here 14 by 17 18 generous size master we've got your walk-in closet over here i believe there's another one right here as well and uh just to give you a little bit of a look southwest we got mountain views over there look at that and if you guys are interested in this community, feel free to reach out to me. My information is going to be all down in the description. And we're going to get you signed up in here right away so you can get a lot in this community if you're interested. They do have a waiting list uh, you have to be part of. That's just the way the market is right now. Uh, right here, the closet is not the biggest. Let me see if they have another one here into your bathroom. They don't. Ouch. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think. Is that enough closets or not? So this one is probably going to go for about anywhere between uh, probably 430 or so. What you're going to pay for this house. Let's see. Dual sinks, undermounted. We got a beautiful seasoned stone that they put on here. It's a nice course. And then uh, they really modeled it well. They upgraded the cabinets here, which I'm going to explain once we go out downstairs. And I'll show you everything. And then got the water closet and this shower. They definitely upgraded with the tile all the way to the ceiling, which is great. Now in here, we do have eight foot ceilings and uh, you can upgrade those to a nine foot ceiling. Uh, let's go over to the other rooms. We got a good size loft right here. You can actually turn this into a bedroom as well if you decide to do so. Uh, what they would do is they would get rid of this little rail right here and put in a wall that closes this up, making this a fourth bedroom. But then I feel like everything would be closed up, okay? So just keep that in consideration when you're trying to plan this one out. Okay. Now we do have another two bedrooms over there. Let's go check them out. So first we got your hall closet, sorry, your hall bathroom right here. Two undermounted sinks, still the quartz. Um, tile, they, they have a tile, it's like a, a 17 by 17, including the base price. Fiberglass enclosure here for your shower included. I like these uh, fixtures right here, the black fixtures. It does come with the chrome, you can upgrade to the black fixtures for, um, actually, I'll tell you, this, it will upgrade all your fixtures to this uh, black stain right here, uh, everywhere in the house. So you get everything dark um, for about three to four thousand uh, dollars. Last time I checked, it just depends on the model and uh, what it has in it. Then closet, 
Let's walk in one. Now this bedroom right here, we're looking at about 11, like maybe 11 by 12. Really good size bedroom. I mean, we have a queen size bed here. There's a full. No, oh, this is probably full size bed. But look, we got a dresser right there. Another. Um, nice stand. And then we've got this walk-in closet. Gosh, this walk-in closet is bigger than the master closet. We do have a window right here. I'm not sure if you could. I mean, you don't need more space than this in this in this bedroom. But you could put another rack here, technically, right? I like how many windows this house has. Yeah, good size bedroom here. And then we got another one right across. So this is the loft, right? The bathroom. We come in here. We have the laundry room and the other bedroom. As well as the bedroom that we just got out of. And then right here we got the laundry room. Uh, we got washer, dryer. The sink right there is an option. And you can upgrade that. And it does come with this wooden rack that you see right here, okay? Which is great. Now, as far as the color of the house, it comes with white paint everywhere. And then you can upgrade to um, a two-tone paint for about $1,000 or so. Now, check this out. Second bedroom. This is a 10 by 12. A little bit smaller than the other one, but still plenty of room out here in this bedroom. Now, walk, uh, I mean, the sliding door closet in here. So this is probably the smallest one of the bedrooms that they have. Uh, now, it does not come with the uh, pre-wire in these bedrooms, and neither it does with the uh, recess light. So that's an upgrade that you can put in if you desire to, do, to do so. Usually in a bedroom, it's wise to put at least a ceiling pre-wire, in my opinion. That will give you the switch that you see. Uh, the two switches, actually, with the pre-wire. So if you put in a fan with lighting, you can, uh, you know, obviously uh, have that, uh, the double switch that you can control either the fan or the lights now unfortunately this is the only model in here and that's why there's so many people here and i try to avoid people as much as possible to not get them in the picture but let's see what we've got it's a nice open floor plan all right so i mean 1859 square feet kitchen is a good size I feel like it's missing a little bit of cabinets. Maybe that's something you can do right here, add some extra cabinets. But I feel like it's missing something here in this kitchen. But you guys let me know down in the comments. I would definitely continue these cabinets over here, put like some extra space. I feel like that's much needed. Or at least offer it as an option. We got our your pantry right here, which is great. I'm gonna show you a good shot of the open floor plan right now. Good size pantry. Love that it has the wooden racks. And then, look at this. Under mounted sinks, this is uh, an upgrade to have the black stained uh, sink. You can, uh, what you do get is under mounted stainless steel, okay? Now, uh, these cabinets are about a $2,500 upgrade, not with the glass, without the glass, $2,500 upgrade. I think the glass is gonna be an extra $500. I don't know why what you would do it, you're pretty much losing space here. So functionally, it's not. It's it's pretty to see, right? But functionally, it's not good, especially when you don't have many cabinets in here. I would not suggest this one because you're losing these two cabinets that you can use for storage. I mean, unless you want to store things in there and then you're going to see them from the outside. It's not going to be a pretty sight, though. But you guys let me know what you would do down there in the comments. We got the microwave hood fan. You can upgrade to the canopy hood if you wanted to and put in some built-in appliances. Just like this one right here. We got the built-in uh, stove and then the 30 inch cooktop included the base price which is the Whirlpool uh, cooktop okay actually sorry included is the push-in stove with uh, with the cooktops on top okay now we've got a nice size refrigerator which is not included in the base price so they just put it in there to show you where it goes and then a decent size iron we got about six feet right here for this iron three seats and we've got your uh, extra cabinets right here on the island. So pretty good. I would say this is a really good size uh, kitchen and living room as well. Let's give you guys a good shot to this open floor plan. Nice. So that would be your garage door right now. They have the office in there. So something to keep in mind. 
and then we've got right there your coat closet entryway going up we went straight upstairs now one thing about this floor plan that you have to do is the stair rails in my opinion uh, maybe you don't have to get these stair rails which are a big upgrade uh, but you're looking at about probably 1500 just for these right here uh, if you get the white ones if you go to this probably you're probably at around three thousand dollars of an upgrade to get the horizontal metal finish okay that's an upgrade um, as far as the tile you do get a, ni a nice tile here in the kitchen and also in your entryway right here also in the bathrooms and uh, in your laundry room as well and then everywhere else it is carpet it's not this carpet right here this is an upgraded carpet they put the high traffic um carpet they call it because it's very resistant to high traffic uh just because it's a model home there's going to be a lot of people walking in here and then right here you do have your uh tile which is an upgrade as well and they upgrade this one obviously to make it look pretty but also to have a hard surface downstairs now you got your half bathrooms right, uh, right here at the entrance when you walk in it's underneath the stairs and yeah just a good shot of the entryway sorry i had to show the upstairs first i try to avoid people into uh, getting into the video just because i don't want to have problems later on uh, telling me people you know people telling me oh you got to remove that video i mean it's you know i don't like that but look at this this is a good shot we're gonna try to go outside but i think they have it locked look how big of an open floor plan this is though so you got your breakfast nook right there or dining room and then you have right here island living room entry right here nice stair rails yeah i mean if you put a pony wall here it's gonna close up all this light coming in here and it's just i don't, I don't think it's gonna be a pretty sight and then right here you have your dining room good size i mean you can put a way bigger table here if you don't put this in uh maybe a round table one of those uh, big round tables I always wanted a round table, I don't know why. Outside, cover patio is not included in the base price. You do have an option to get this cover patio here or add another cover patio right next to it. Um, if you, if you, well, it's not another one, you just extend this one all the way for the width of the house. If you get the cover patio, everything underneath the cover patio, which is the pavers, is included as well within the price. For this cover patio, you're probably looking at around $12,000 of an upgrade for this one. Uh, if you get the aluminum one, it's probably going to be around 7,000 or so. And a good size lot. You know, they have some good size lots out here, about 20, 25 feet deep. Although they're not very wide because of this house specifically, uh, they're about 35 feet wide. Okay. Something to keep in consideration. If you guys are interested in this model, feel free to reach out to me. I'll be glad to earn your business. If you guys are interested in uh, working with a realtor that uh, is an expert in this field when it comes to new construction, but also resale. And uh, you can find all my uh, uh, links down in the description where I can give you pretty much uh, all the tools to search for your new home here in Las Vegas. And, uh, you know, I'm just one call away, so feel free to reach out to me. We can get you uh, started with your search and hopefully get it, you're getting you into the, this newest community or other newest newer communities that are coming out here. Uh, and that's the value that we bring to our clients as realtors, just the knowledge that we have of this market and what to do in order to get into a community. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it uh, if you watched until the end, and I'll see you guys on the next video.